Hi friends. Uh, I want to do and are going to do an updated pin fountain pin collection video. So let's jump in. Um, I'll also show you my storage such as it is. Uh, so I, um, at the San Francisco Pin Show in 2023, bought this 40 pin case in this sort of tealy color from Galen Leather. I had another one already in the Navy. So this is what I keep my pins in. And I have a number of like sleeves. So I've got several from Rickshaw that I have purchased where she wrote, because y'all know I'm a fan. Yeah, we know what's going in here. If you've seen my current page, you know. Um, and then I got this. I had this made when I got my um, Tantini Italia. So it's like this tealy color and then pink because I like pink. And Anyway, I got two of the plaid ones because I like this wool plaid. Two bags that came with my Frank Christoph pins. Uh... And I think, yeah, these got came from uh, Ink Flights. This is a, a rickshaw that I got with a Carolina Pin Company pin. And then this came with my uh, Newton Pins Prospector. I love this. His wife makes them. I like that fabric a lot. It looks like a Japanese cotton. Okay, so that's my pin storage. I also have another pin case that my friend Phil got for me that is like my travel pen case and I have temporarily mislaid it because I'm not traveling right now. So anyway, let's start off with this one. So this is the Navy um, pen holder. I love these, by the way. So we open it up to my Twins We Eco collection. It's so lovely. Don't you love this rainbow? So we have the Rosso, pink, glow purple, lilac, transparent purple, the Eco Tea in mint, and the, the Rosso is also an Eco Tea. Uh, the cerulean blue, the transparent blue, the black. Turn the page. More Twisby. And then I have the Eco Tea and Clear and the Eco and Clear. Because I wanted more pins that I felt like I could put any ink in. So I got, that's why I got the clears in the black. Uh, and then I have the VAC 700R Iris, the Diamond 580 Iris, the, it's probably called like the Diamond 580 ALR or whatever. Anyway, the Twisby Mini in Grape and the Twisby Mini in Mint. And then three Twisby goes. I have smoke, sapphire, and clear. Should I talk about nibs? Oh my gosh. Do I need to start over and talk about nibs? Do y'all care about nibs? You probably do. Well, these two are broad. That's a medium. These two are broad. Unless this is medium. This is a medium. Ugh. We're going to have to start over, aren't we? No, we're just going to go back. Broad, broad. Um, I can't read. This is my secret shame. This is a medium or a broad. There you go. Hope you're happy. <laughs> this is a 1.1 stub. And over here, this is medium. This is, yeah, extra fine. So some of these have swapped around. I, I used to know what they were, but I swapped them. Medium. This is fine and writes awful. It's not fine. Yes, yeah, so this is a fine nib and it's like way too dry. I gotta fix it. I'm gonna make it work better. Transparent purple is broad. I think all the rest of these are broad. Because you know, I'm that kind of broad. Broad. I can't actually read that these say broad, but I'm hoping I can read if they say medium. You tell me if I got it wrong, okay? Broad, broad broad. Let's just assume, okay? Because I want to. Then we have here uh, other random pins. And I'm only including ones that I will refill. 
So not like any disposable. So I have a varsity that sits on my desk that um, I use to take notes when I'm playing video games. And when it's gone, it's gone. So I'm not including that. But I just told you about it, so I kind of included it. This is a preppy, kind of preppy, the medium or the 0 .5, 0 .05, well, 0 0.5, whatever, it's the medium, that I bought to put one particular ink in and that this lives on my work desk. I'm taking that out because it's inked. Uh, the, the, and these should be next to each other, but they're not. This is a pen that my boss gave me. It's a Cosmos from Stillform. This I got the Palladium nib for it. Um, I don't like this. You see how it's like rusty? Maybe I should reach out to them because it's like rusty in there now. But I like how it's magnetic. This I got from, this is the Taske Oto. Got from an ink flight. I don't know what size nib it is. Whatever it came with. Medium-ish, fine. It's cool. I think I brought it hiking with me once to like take notes, but then that didn't work for me. This doesn't fit really well. These loops are too big for such skinny pins. So you have to clip it. There's another pin my boss gave me. It is made from an old uh, whiskey barrel. And it has one of those, like, you can screw this off and, like, fill it from there. Also, magnetic cap. This has a pretty fine nib. Finer than I prefer. Um, let me come over here. Oh, I'll take that out and take this out. Those are inked. Um, and then, so these are pins that I might get rid of, but they're here for now. Or, can I ever get rid of this? This is my last Jin Hao Shark in this beautiful, like, teal color. It doesn't look clean in there, but I know I cleaned it. I bought 12 of these and gave them all away. This is a Kara's Customs um, Fountain K in the black. The nib is pretty fine, and they use a, a, the 0.76 nibs or whatever from box, so it's not, like, super easily replaceable. I like this pen, but it, I don't reach for it because the nib is too fine if you want it make me an offer this is a noodlers i don't know conrad some of you may remember me saying i wanted to get rid of these like the last time i did a video showing my collection yeah still this is not the pin for me palette metropolitan i like the aesthetics of this pin i mean even with the roundedness it's all right but the nib is too fine and also it dries out and it's not the greatest pin. I'm going to be I'll be honest. Here's a Caveco. Uh, this is, I think, crystal. It's bright pink. The nib is extra fine because, like, yeah. So maybe I should just replace the nib. But I'll be honest, probably not. Here is a Nemesine pen. Fine nib. Their nibs are great. One of my coworkers like flicked the thing off because he had a bad habit of doing that. And then he realized he did it to like a pin that I owned and he felt really bad. It's fine. Um, good pin. Not for me. This is the Noodler's Charlie. I got it for you, I think. It's a great pin for what it is. Like better than free. So let's hope I can wind up with six pins, seven pins that are by here. So then we have this. This is my baby. Maybe we'll linger over this one. We'll open it up. And this is falling out. I made this case. It's kind of a for my Bennu Grand Scepter. I don't know what color number it is. This nib is medium. It goes in the dark. It's obnoxious. And I love it. 
like a magic wand. Then we have a bunch of hand-turned pens. Well, I'm not sure about these, but mostly small makers. So this is the Philosopher, I think, from the Eaton Apple in the something cherry color. Cherry tree, maybe. I don't know what size nib I got. Medium or broad. I like this one. It's long. You can see that compared to other ones, right? Here, compared to an Eco. Ecos are fairly long pins. It's like full two centimeters longer. Then my aforementioned Carolina Pen Company pen. This is the Charleston in Mermaid Tears, Broad Nib. And again, the case I got the, with it. Got this at the San Francisco Pen Show a couple years ago. I really should keep it next to this one because it's too funny not to. Yeah, we got to do that. We're changing it up. This is from Woodshed Pens. And I love how it's like short and kind of stubby and totally flat. This is aesthetically one of my favorites. I got this with a broad nib. And the color is actually the same as this. It's this mermaid tear. So this has like a more of a satin finish and this is a shiny finish. But also like you can see this mermaid tears is swirly and this one is like far more I think of it as vertical, but you could think of it as horizontal. I don't know. Goes goes up and down and not swirly. Then we have a couple of Franklin Kristoffs. So this is the Model 46. Got this with a broad nib. The this is their blue diamond cast. I like this pin, but I'm gonna be honest, their cap does not seal super tightly. So it can, can come unscrewed sometimes, and then also it feels like it dries out a little. So I'm thinking maybe what I should do is, like, put some silicone on there. It'll help it seal it a little. Then we have my uh, Salmon Glow um, Model 45. I got this with a broad Sig nib. I got this at, a, at the San Francisco Pin Show. Um... I enjoy writing with this. I usually don't even post it because I know like most people do because it's short. But I mean, I put the, I post it on my pinky, but this is long enough. My hands are small enough. Um, this I need to clean better. So I'm going to take that out. And then we have here the small collection of um, Walltown pins. So this is the first one I got from Walltown. This is the Catsburg. I don't know the color. It's bluey purple. And I got with a broad nib. Obviously I like this one enough. So I got the Lumley next. And I really liked that it was clear, but the clear part is sparkly. This is the Lumley, it's chonky. And I like this pen. It grows on me more and more. The green is like, I don't know, the, the difference here is like too much for me. So I like it, but don't like, it's not my favorite pen in the world. So I really like it a lot, but it's not like, <gasps> like some of these others are. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Like not everything can be your favorite is what I'm saying. And I got this with a broad nib. And then this, Amanda made me do it. This is the Walltown Watts. This color is Peacock Plume and um, it's like red, purple from some angles and teal from other angles. I don't, I couldn't get that to show up on camera last time. And this is a broad nib. I love this pen. It's also chunky. Man, I should ink this. Um, okay. Then we have this Newton Pens Prospector. The color of this material is glow stick. This color here glows in the dark. And what I like is that by luck, 
more than anything, I can get these to line up, this glowy part. And it happens when these are at opposing angles. So this side goes up and that side goes flat. I really like this pen. I'm not going to uncap it because, y'all, it takes me a while to get it closed back this way. <laughs> <laughs> and I am particular, I need it too. And I'm pretty sure I got this with a medium nib, but who knows. I do, this is slightly yellowy and I wish it wasn't, but that's the price you pay for glow. Then we have my little pin designs pen. This was like, I don't know, Violet Abalone, who knows what it was called, but maybe that. Um, It's so pretty. This one's inked right now. This is a broad nib. I like it. It feels good in the hand. Again, it has those flat tops and bottoms that you know I love. Inked, so you know, putting aside. Turn the page. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you know, like, I have these organized by country. <laughs> these are my German pins. <laughs> How, do you do that in your collection? Am I just a weirdo? Okay, no, I am a weirdo, but is this evidence of it? Okay. So here we have uh, my Pelican M605 in the black tortoise shell. This I got with a medium nib. I find it pretty stiff. It's like writing with a nail. You know? Um, not a bad experience, just it is a thing. I like that pen. It's very, to me, this is like adult or classy or something. You know, like I could carry that with a suit. I mean, I don't carry any of these with a suit. When do I wear a suit? Doesn't matter. This is my Pelican M205 in Moonstone. I love that the glitter in here is holographic and I would totally wear this as a nail polish. I need to, let's not call attention to my nails right now. Um, I got this with a medium nib, and I know some people describe this experience as bouncy, the writing, but to me, it is not. To me, it's pretty stiff. Um, again, not bad or anything, just it is. And I love these clips and how they're a pelican. Uh -oh. Anyway, then we get into Lamy. So we have the Vista, which is like my first one. And I know I cleaned this, but like it looks there's like stuff in there. This, um, I put a medium on. I have a bunch of Lamy nibs, almost all of them. Set the extras are extra fine because, you know, whatever. Then I got the Petrol. The, the Safari Petrol, and it cracked, so I glued it back together. But maybe it's cracking again. Anyway, this has my left-handed nib on it. I don't notice much of a difference with the left-handed nib, but I really like that they make it. So I have it. I got Vibrant Pink. It is an AL R. What? AL Sport? Look, I don't remember the name of these pens. AL Sport? These are sports. I don't remember the name of this pen, y'all. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Vibrant pink. And I have this with a broad nib. Y'all can leave comments and be like, girl, what is wrong with you? The list is long. My Lamy 2000 with a medium nib. Ugh, I love this pen so much. This is just amazing. Do I sometimes, sometimes I put the cap on the back, but I feel like most of the time I don't. And I love, oh, so satisfying. That's inked up. Then we have the Cavecos. This is the um, sport, well, collection in the Toyama Teal. Why do I even bother having this in here? Like, get rid of it. It won't stay. Oops, that's what happens when I try and shove it on. People are like, oh, you got to really shove it on there. Getting rid of it. Getting rid of it. That thing is garbage. Um, then I have the Quebec Sport in Frosted Coconut. Oh, that this is double broad. This is medium. No, this is broad. How is there water in here? Does it fit here? No, this doesn't fit here either. 
I'm going to not keep using the pen. I'm going to keep it somewhere else. This is the naughty one. Maybe I can use it to clean or something. Well, we'll just do this. This is what you're here for, me fiddling with stuff. I'm sure. Uh, then we have my Caveco Perkeo in clear, which I bought because it has a clear feed and I love it. And I do love it. This pen writes really well. I replaced the nib with a Goulet mm, medium because it came with only a nib that was too fine for me. But I love it because you can actually see how clean you're getting and how many times it takes to like flush. Writer's blood took forever. Then we have my Faber-Castell Hexo. This is like the silvery matte color. And I think, yeah, this is a broad nib. This pen writes pretty well for... You know, you don't expect really inexpensive pens to, to be like, oh, this is a solid, heavy hitter. I mean, really inexpensive is a relative term also. So there's that. Uh, over here, Rando. This is my Kara's Customs Fountain K in um, blue. Again, the nib is finer than I'd like. It's probably a fine. And I got the brushed aluminum or whatever. So if I was only going to keep one, it was going to be this one. I have my Jin Hao X750 in Shimmering Sands, and I replaced the nib. This is probably broad. That has a satisfying click, too. My Moon Man M1, M2, whatever. I replaced this. This is a Goulet Medium nib. This pen is fine, but it's a bare to clean. I got this pen when I started the job I currently have. I was like, hey, new pen. Um, and then towards the end here, my one vintage pen. It's a wall ever sharp, I don't know, Doric something or other with a wonderful flexi nib. Beautiful pen that I still think about getting rid of because I don't love the color. This is the pen that restarted the habit. My Le Bon Rainbow Skeleton. I still regret the nib. It's a fine. They only had fine and broad and I got fine and I should have got broad. But here we are. This pen is beautiful. It's heavy. Look at that, there's like, I think the screw in the top is resting. Well, great. <sighs> screw. Hmm, it's scratched at the top. You see that? Oh well. Um, I have a Platinum 3776 Nice Pure. Medium, this pen is really nice. It, sh it doesn't feel as classy because it's clear, but it's a wonderful pen. Next to it is the Platinum Placier Black Mist. I got it because it's black, black and it has a really nice click. Um, what did I get this with? They're medium. So this is the same nib as on the preppy. So I knew I would like writing with it. My just freshly cleaned um, Sailor Pro Gear in the Goulet Northern Lights, the first one. I got this with a broad nib. This was the right size nib for me. It does do the singing kind of thing that these are wont to do. I do like this pen. Their plastic feels really neat. Um, it's not squishy, but it has like a squishy feeling to it. Yeah, I can't explain it. Then my other Banu that 
gosh, I love this pin so much. This was my birthday gift to myself last year, the Bennu um, Talisman in Edelweiss, because I love the sound of music, and I like the color. And I got this with a broad nib, I'm pretty sure. I so love this pin. It writes really well. The Bennu pins both write really, really well. And it's like just over the top beautiful. It feels good. I love it. Makes me want more. Then I have, this is a recent acquisition. This is a souvenir pin. So this is a uh, Gerbon, Jacques Herbon. I know nothing about this pin other than that. And the nib is a medium. It writes just fine. My Santini Italia Libra in the color mm, Fifth Avenue. I got this with a medium nib. All of my stuff is like, got a little whatever on it. Who cares? It's my collection. This does the thing that I hate too. Rust in the cap from the screw. Um, it's beautiful. It's a chonker. It's a big pen. They make even bigger ones. I don't know. And I think, can you put this? You can put this on the back and it goes on there pretty far. But to me, it's, I mean, to me, almost everything is back weighted when I do that. Even my Caveco sports, I usually write with them not posted. So even these, I'll write this way. They're the one pen that I will post just as often as not. And last but not least, look at how do you have scratch on you? I just got you. Where did you come from? <sighs> Let's not stress about it. This is my Montegrappa Zero in ultra black. The nib is black even. The medium, I really like the design on their nib. Maybe you can see it. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Yeah. Okay. This isn't this isn't about this pen. Yeah, it's actually scratched. Well, whatever. Whatever. They're meant to be used. Except I'm really frustrated. Um anyway, I love this pen. It's heavy. It's heavy. And we're gonna put it in here because it's inked. And do we end up with our, yes, I I managed to pull out all the pins that are inked. Go me. So that's my updated collection. I didn't count, but it's more than 40 because I had 40 pins and then they didn't fit in one case anymore. And so I had to get another one. Well, I didn't have to get another one. I could have chosen to sell pins, but I was like, nope, get in another case because I'm responsible. So that's the journey through my pin collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Were you were there any standouts for you? Any favorites? Anything that you're like, oh yeah, I want that. Or like, mm, not for me. Would love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Um, I will be doing an ink collection video soon. But I don't know when. Um, and maybe it won't be soon. But I'll be honest, my ink collection has not changed as much as my pen collection, which is good because I had a lot of inks and I don't need to feel like I need more because this is a lot of pens. Although I'll be on I also have not been buying pens and I've been really good about like saying, do you really need another pen, Maria? Because the answer is, do I need another pen? That answer is always no, I don't. I only ever want another pen. So I managed to talk myself out of a lot of purchases, especially because flat top crew forever. Um, <laughs> I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.